Mariana Lawrence with Kunst in Vermark. Yes, Mariana Lawrence with Art and Entertainment. And I'm so excited because I'm here in the home of a new friend that I made during the run of Matilda, the musical, which has now come and gone, and it's history, and we all were so into it. But I have a, a couple of people that were in the show with me. The one is young James, James Fulbrook. And James, your mom was supposed to be with us, but now she's been delayed at work, so I'll have to catch her another time. Yes. But you actually got into the show because of your mom. Yes, I suppose so. She kind of introduced me to theatre. She wanted me to audition maybe for a few shows a bit, a bit earlier, but I felt that this one, Matilda the Musical, because I've heard about it and I just love the music in the musical, I thought I would audition for Bruce Bog Trotter and was lucky enough to get into the show. You were lucky enough to get into the show <laughs> <laughs> because your mom told me you're a very sporty guy. Yes, I, I enjoy cricket and then hockey in the winter. I love watching sport, playing sport and practicing. Yes, that's what she told me. So she was actually quite thrilled that you were in the show with her. And then I've got Amy and Amy, I just said she's my old young friend <laughs> <laughs> because we go back quite a number of years. We've been in show, other shows together, which we just figured out my Maybe it was Footloose, which is now... I think so, about 2005. Yeah, so which is now years like ago? a number of years <laughs> ago. And we, of course, have also rubbed shoulders on other occasions because she's a musician and she sings along with her brother. Yes. How is Simon, so by oh, the way? Simon I is see so he's good. Gigging. He's all... Well, I mean, as you know, I'm a pilot, and yes. so is Simon, and he usually is always balancing the flying and the music, and he's actually taken a bit of a sabbatical from the flying at the moment, and he's doing music full-time, so he's full up with gigs at the moment. I saw. Of Port Elizabeth. Yeah, yes, I well. noticed that he's doing gig after gig after gig. And of course you, yes, when I first met you, you I did not know what you're going to do with your life because <laughs> you were young then, but now you, yeah. you're also a, a commercial pilot. Yeah, an airline, airline transport pilot's license, which is the highest license that you get in flying, so it means I can fly unlimited weight categories of airplanes, most recently flying in the airline sector but I'm actually working freelance at the moment. So my last work gig overlapped with the rehearsals of Matilda a little bit. And then for the last month and a bit, I've been not doing any flying work and just basically doing Matilda full time. Because we were all just rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. Yes. <laughs> and of course, you were the acrobat, which actually when you hear that someone is an acrobat in a show, you expect that person to be doing some circus tricks and Me stuff. Well, I mean, ironically, I actually used to do trapeze flying trapeze. You used to so do I that could anyway. actually do that, but we no. don't have a trapeze on the stage. No, so. we do <laughs> <laughs> You, but the image was there of the acrobat and you were actually almost reliving the life of someone already gone. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the story. Oh, well, it's actually a beautiful storyline which runs in the background through Matilda's storytelling. She's got a love of telling stories and she talks to Mrs. Phelps, the librarian, all the time and tells her these stories that she imagines. And one of the recurring themes is the story of an acrobat and an escapologist and their love affair and their attempts to have a child and then how they eventually, the acrobat passes away and you don't know it while the story is being told. But ultimately, spoiler alert, the characters become real and we meet one of the characters that we've known throughout the story, Miss Honey, turns out to be the daughter of this uh, the acrobat and the escapologist. And it's a lovely realization that you make as it's going that Matilda is actually picking up the story and she's sensing it through her interactions with Miss Honey and that's what's inspiring her. Yes, to tell the story. because it's actually so nice because she's one of the kids in the school with Bruce. Yes. And of course, just the way she tells the story, but she doesn't know whose story she's telling because Mrs. Phelps actually gets quite upset with some of the tellings and says, but we must call the police. Yeah. And then Matilda says, but Mrs. Phelps, it's just a story. <laughs> and, and so in the end, it comes out it was actually the life of the acrobat and his wife, uh, her wife, the acrobat's wife. The acrobat was the female. Yeah, the, and the, 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 the main man was the escapologist. And it was their life, but Matilda doesn't realize it till the end. 
And but in the meantime, lots of stuff happened in the show. Mm. And Bruce, of course, being an amazing character, and you shared it with Tum Tum. Yes. The whole thing about this big cut. Yes. Tell us about it. So in the scene, um, Miss Trunchbull marches onto the stage, telling the classroom that Matilda has stolen a piece of her private chocolate cake from her tea tray earlier in the morning. Then Bruce turns around in his own white light and tells the audience that it was him while his tummy rumbles. Then the conversation carries on between Matilda and Miss Trunchbull, Matilda telling Miss Trunchbull that she didn't steal the cake. While Bruce is in the center of the stage, just his tummy is rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. And then eventually he lets out a massive burp. And he has some dialogue about his burp. And his burp just flies across the class into the face of Miss Trunchbull. Then the cook... Which was me. Which was I, I, I had the small bit part of the cookies. I mm-hmm. he, he calls me. Yeah. Small yes. but important. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Brings out this absolutely massive, or at least what's left of the cake, that Bruce has already eaten part of. And Bruce is told he needs to finish the cake. And it's a giant cake. It's absolutely massive. The piece that's missing is a slice, but it's the size of a yeah. of a regular cake, just yeah. the one piece. The one piece. So now Bruce has to finish the cake. Mm. And there's an amazing song called Bruce while he is eating. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And that song, it is so catching, mm. so haunting almost. Yes. You know, because it's the Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. And he's got to eat the cake and he can't eat anymore. So you enjoyed your part of yes. the Bruce. And then for the other times you were a kid, mm. just in yeah. the school with the others. We all did different parts because, Amy, apart from being the acrobat, you were a dancer. The ensemble being the busiest people and, in the show. ensemble. <laughs> yes. And were you also one as a parent? I was a mum. A mum. In the opening scene. In the yes. opening scene. And a Russian in the closing scene. Yes. So bits, and bits and pieces. You had to over. speak Russian. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of sentences. Thankfully for me, just a few sentences. Yes. And Jason had the, the big role there, and Matilda as well spoke some mm-hmm. Russian. And she and remembered it. I mean, the Matildas amazing. were amazing. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you take it, they were all between the ages of eight and almost ten. Yeah. They were just absolutely amazing. And of course, I was a nursing sister in the opening scene, mm-hmm. and then that was so quick because Matilda was being born. Then uh, the next thing, she's in school. And then we were all just in the different things with the dancing because Matilda's mom was this dancing fanatic. Yes. The end. And then there was a kind of a contest. I was a judge along with James's yes. mom. And we just enjoyed that part so much because yeah. Vanessa Greber, who was the mom, she just so, did so well. Mm. Yes. And you know what I love about that scene so, is, I mean, Mrs. Wormwood was such a fantastic character and mm. the, the dance competition in that scene is actually all taking place in her imagination. It's a dream mm. sequence. So every single person in that scene is Mrs. Wormwood for a moment there and yet to sort of vicariously play the part for a little bit, which is such mm. fun in that scene. Yes, and she ends up yeah. dancing on the table mm-hmm. and we uh, the judges are e- ending up giving her things which is full yeah. marks yeah so the whole sh- the whole scene really just shows her mad over the top character really yeah. yes yeah. 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 because that's it's exactly just, what she was yeah <laughs> she is i suppose in, yeah, in, yeah, in the story fun. and i'm sorry for those who missed it who, who those who are listening now but it was really a huge show Matilda mm. is a big, big, big show. If you can ever, ever see it somewhere, do so. Because Roald Dahl himself said that you must watch it more than once. I mean, mm. he wrote the story mm. and then it was made into a stage yeah. production and then it was made into a film. But the film, I believe, is not quite as... No. The film, the film itself, I believe, I mean, I've seen it. I think it's good, but it definitely strays. Yeah, it's away. not, it's not like the book. It's not like the musical either. It's kind of, it's in its own light. Uh, and it, there's a film coming of the, the, of the, the musical, of the musical. Yeah. soon here. I, I so don't know. that will be a, 
I think so. It'll be That's a film one I with think the I heard music. Where they said that Matilda strays totally from her character, oh, where really? she's actually a rebel yeah. and not a sweetie. Oh, so because oh, look, in the in our story, she's a good child, and she's a uh, she's an amazingly clever person. She's a total, you know, a rebel. <laughs> no, 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 she, but, no, but she isn't a rebel in real yeah, in, in our story. In our story, no, yeah. she's a she's actually a genius. In our story, she's more clever than anybody. Mm-hmm. She le- teaches herself to speak Russian from reading Russian. Dostoevsky. Yeah, Dostoevsky, yeah. <laughs> which uh, dad doesn't even know yeah. who that is or how to spell it. Mm-hmm. And Roald Dahl's Matilda is a genius child. Mm. She's a total, really a miracle child mm. and gifted in many ways. And I think what the, the music oh, that's been okay. released now is not quite true to that mm. character. It I makes think it I've a rebel. That Roald She's not clever. The original writing of the character was a lot more mm. rebellious. Yeah, but he wrote, he wrote naughty, it. Really naughty, yeah. as it gets just mischievous. Yeah. Um, and then he re- completely rewrote yeah. the book because he when didn't he decided want that to, wasn't the right portrayal. Wasn't the right, I heard yes. he wrote it twice yes. in a matter of like that's a few right. years or something. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He wrote it. He rewrote it. If you have never seen it, please see it. People have missed out or in not seeing mm. seeing it. And I must be honest, when I saw it in Johannesburg at Monte Cassino. I must say, I missed some of the stuff that I discovered while we were doing it now. Don't you think, Amy? Yeah, because, because it's, you it's also full of Monte it's, Cassino. It's wordy. A lot of the songs are very, very wordy, and you only start to appreciate the layers of humor in each song and in the storyline once you hear it a few times. Yeah, one of those ones you miss yeah. some of that yes. this time around. Yeah, yes. especially like if you take I know the opening number for example. There's just so much going on yeah. one stage. You've got thirty odd people dancing on the same stage, and you, yeah. your eyes just go. You don't you know what to look at. Everything. Yeah. Yes, you can't. And now, James, how do you feel about being a performer? Because you're a sports fanatic almost, <laughs> I'll say. Your mom said, I yes, you won't be without your sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, obviously I do like playing sport, but I feel like with theatre now, especially musical theatre, I've found another thing that I enjoy and I'm going to keep doing it. Keep doing it because you can do both. Yes, obviously. Yes. You can do bits of everything that you want to do. So with Matilda, was that the first time your mom asked you to um, audition or did you audition before? It was the first time I'd ever auditioned for anything. At, at school, I was in a production Into the Woods in 2019, but I was a townsfolk in that and they just needed applicants who, who wanted to be on stage. So, one song. <laughs> so it wasn't as if you were the a, a, a character? No, not or, really. I'd never really been on stage Just before. ensemble? Yeah. Yeah, just, and you enjoyed that? Yeah, I enjoyed being ensemble in Into the Woods, but this was way this better. This was special. Yeah, this was yeah. really special. So you're going to go for more auditions when it comes your way? Yes, definitely. And what about you, Amy? Because now, look, you started performing when you were still in school. Yeah, I mean, we worked it out the other day. My first production with Robin was in 1993. So it's a few years ago. I mean, is that nine? No. So, and and, yeah, I've definitely been performing since I was young, along with my mother, who used to do a lot on the stage and has done musicals with you as well and was involved backstage on this production. So we've come a long way together with Robin. And I really hope I can do some more. I'm in a... I'm at a crossroads in my career where I'm figuring out if I'm staying in Port Elizabeth or moving, but I'm not really sure. I'm waiting to find out about whether I can get a visa for the US where I've had a job. Oh, okay. after, yeah, which is a whole other story. So you've actually had a job on I've had a job but in flying? Flying, yes. So I'm, I'm figuring out whether uh, that's going to materialize or not. So I'm a little bit in limbo at the moment, which is part of why I'm freelance flying at the moment, because I can can be a bit flexible with the jobs that I take. Exactly, so that if it comes through, you can grab it. Yes, exactly. The thing is, it's visas, it's... It's visas, and it's a process, and that's been going since February of this last year, and I was worried I wouldn't even be able to do Matilda because I wasn't sure when that was going to materialise, and yet I'm still here and still not looking like I'm going anytime soon. So as long as I'm in PE, I really want to do more musicals now. So watch the space, I would say. Watch the space for us in more musicals I don't know if I'll be in such a big one again because Ah. for me it was quite taxing at my age and we'll speak to you at auditions next year yeah well (laughs) I just don't uh, think I'd I'd like to do so many little bit parts that's 
I was not sitting down hardly. Yes. You know, I was just changing I mean, it up and down. I mean, about how hard the principles work, and I'll be honest, I've been principals in a lot of shows before this, and haven't been in an ensemble for quite a few years, and coming back to an ensemble character or ensemble role, it's hard work. Ensemble it's work is business. hard work. You rehearse harder. You, it's hard. It's we've got really some. Hard we've got some sound effects. The dogs agree with us. Ensemble <laughs> work is hard it's work. It's hard work. But yes, thank you so much. It is time actually for us, in any case, to say goodbye. So the dog is just reminded us. <laughs> yeah. Really clever dogs, James. Yeah. We're here at James and Laura's house, and the dogs are too cute. They are adorable, and they were quiet all the time thank you thank they you. were very good and thank you so much james for making time for us and we'll watch this space and the yes. stage to see you and the same with you amy we'll hope we, we're yes. still in the country me too. with the next big yeah. musical <laughs> that you can be in it and if not then we'll maybe see you in, in shows in the usa somewhere wherever you land Let's and land Figuratively and literally, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks both for of you. Me. Thanks, Amy Shaw and James Fulbrook. See you on the stage. And it is time for me, Mariana Lawrence, and Art and Entertainment to say goodbye. Ja, Mariana Lawrence, but no group with kunst in vermaak in Arivari.